Hello everybody, um, today I'm going to present you the, uh, the tape trap, uh, the monitoring method for monitoring red mite populations. So it's a very easy and simple uh, method that can be applied by farmers and it's also very cheap. Uh, so the traps are made with uh, blue painter's masking tape that can be found in any hardware store. So the first thing when you want to start with this uh, trapping method is to select 12 points that are evenly distributed uh, throughout the whole building, or the whole house. And uh, you need to, to select those 12 points, you need to respect three criteria. The first one is that it needs to be close to a typical mite hiding place. So for example, if we take uh, this place here, uh, there's a hiding space right there. Uh, the second one is it needs to be uh, on a bar that's out of reach of the hens. So here it's perfect, the hens don't have access to that. Um, it's because the hens can actually destroy the traps. And that is why this is a, a monitoring method that's more generally used in enriched case system because it's less practical in other housing systems. And the, the third criteria uh, is more for practicalities. It needs to be at, uh, at human height so that you don't have to bend over. Uh, so once you've selected your, your spot where you want to trap, you simply take a, a piece of um, your tape that's uh, accordingly appropriate for the diameter of the bar. So you rip this, the tape and then you fold both hands uh, so that it's more easy to remove afterwards. You put then the trap around the bar and you have to be careful on that part because it, it mustn't be too loose but it mustn't be too tight either. Basically it must recreate an ideal hiding spot for the mite. Uh, so once you've uh, put your 12 traps in the building, uh, the trapping period is about seven days, so you wait say, there, seven days, and then you come back to get uh, your, your traps. Uh, if it's more handy, uh, you can uh, also enumerate on the traps, give them a number so that uh, they always have the same number. Uh, so to collect the mites, well, the folded ends, you just tear it open and uh, analyze the center of the trap. Uh, so here it is. it's empty at the moment so there's no mites. Um, but basically you use a flashlight to, to see better because the lighting of the house isn't always enough. And it's uh, the scoring, it's absence or presence. So you can have uh, from two to a hundred mites, it's still going to be present. So there's no scale. Uh, the, the advantage of this trapping method is that the blue color of the trap comes into contrast of the variously uh, colored mites that can exist, so that's a plus side. Uh, sometimes you have speck of dust and it can be a bit, you can hesitate if it's a mite or a speck of dust, but to do that you, you squish it with uh, your nail and if some fluid oozes out of it, it's considered as a mite, otherwise it's, um, it's considered as a speck of dust. Once you've finished uh, scoring your trap, you just discard it and then replace it by a new one. And at the end, uh, once you've collected your 12 uh, traps and scored them, you'll have a percentage of positive traps in the house.